Hey guys. David, sit down. We need to have a conversation. Your mother and I have been talking. It's time for you to move out of the house. Oh, I thought this was something serious. It is serious to us. You're 30 years old. It's time to be an adult. Right. It's time to get a job and get out. Yeah. If this situation sounds familiar, it's because we've ripped it right from the headlines. The parents who took their 30-year-old son to court. 30-year-old, and I'm going to say it again, 30-year-old <laughs> has been living in his parents' place for the past eight years rent-free, and his folks sued to get his ass out of the house. Okay? He doesn't see anything wrong with his extended stay. I'm not a burden to them in the home. They don't uh, provide laundry or food. All right, David, you can come on in. You're closer to you. OK, you ready for this? And back inside the Orangetown Classic Diner in Orangeburg, New York, our son is also fighting his parents' request. Uh, I'm your son. You can't do this to me. Yes, we can. And we are. Do you agree with mom and dad, or would you side with their son? What would you do? OK, it seems like you're, you want to kick me the curb real fast. These nearby diners take a couple of quick looks at the action, but they stay silent. It's unusual for a 30-year-old to want to live at home. I know some do because they have to, but you want to. And when our parents step away. David, time for you to pack your bags, all right? My parents are heartless. My parents are heartless. These women have some questions for David in this family feud. What did you do in college? What did you study? Did you have a job? How what about all your friends? Where are they? Are they home? Or and just in case, they question his motive. I don't want to have to pay my own rent. I don't want to have to pay my own rent. I want to be able to, to live the so life that I've lived. how much longer? <laughs> Three, four, five years. It's a long time. That's too long. Do you think I'm too old? I wouldn't want my kids living at home with 30. I mean, I love my room with all the posters. I love my room. I still have my posters. The train set. Yeah. My train set. <laughs> I still have my train set. I love my train set. OK. We'll break it. How are you? Where is he? <laughs> I can't believe it's he's so us. amazing. <laughs> 30. 30, 30 is too old to be home. If you were the parents, what would you do? I would do like anything to get my kids out. <laughs> I would help them with their rent. I would help them till they got on their feet. But yes, I've done it at an early age with one of my children. What did you think of the argument? I had to move back in with my mother, so I've been living with her for the past 10 years. And now I'm 41. You know, I'm not a freeloader by any means. This dad, out with his wife and son, thinks it's a generational issue. Like, I grew up hustling. My parents left me when I was 19. They moved wow. to Italy and said, you coming? Yeah, no, no. So I, I learned a lot immediately to jump right to the right course. But today, yeah. it's true. I see it all the time. Amazing time. So do you think we're wrong to, to want him out of the house? I mean, to give him a goal, the time limit. David returns to the table. I personally, I'm sorry, I wouldn't talk. I would give you time. Put your mind, heart, and soul into it. You'll feel better about You'll yourself succeed when you earn something. If you, if you want to succeed, if you really want. It makes want. you feel better. Do you want to be 40 and 50 years old living with mommy and daddy? It's ridiculous. This diner doesn't want to be within earshot of this family drama. Now this guy wants out of there. You're supposed to love me, not just kick me out on the street. We're doing this because we love you. You're a very smart individual. Yeah, I got to. I gotta call someone. Once David steps away, this woman has some words of advice for our frustrated parents. They're always your kids, but sometimes you have to be mama and, and dad, and you have to do tough love. That's what they call it, right? Tough love. We love them. We do anything for them, but absolutely. You know, at some but point... I can't do life for you. You need to do life. It has to be about you, your life. And what about the man who moved to another table? We saw you listening, right? Yeah. And uncomfortable? It was very uncomfortable. This kid's great. Mm -hmm. You've got your break. You're 30 years old. Get a life. Yeah. This next diner lays it out very simply for David. Parents are always have more wisdom than children. My dad always did. But he says things may be a little different for his own child. She's 25. She's still with him. Will you let her stay there at 30? Probably. So you wouldn't kick her out like my friends are doing to me? No. 
Well, I wish you were my dad. <laughs> we roll one more time, and this father is out to lunch with his two young kids. You're 30? Yeah. You should be out on your own, man. You're not a baby anymore. You know, they want you to get out and, you know, find your own way in the world. All right, so you, you agree with them. You're on their side. Yeah, I know you don't want to hear it, but yeah. Then this pair at the next booth have some advice on how David can make it outside of his parents' house. Find a roommate. Yeah, you don't go out necessarily and own them. You split friends. There's people who are baby and there's people who are not. Don't be the one that's baby. Do stuff for yourself. Okay, let's break it. They could be trying to test you also. Like they want to see if you're able to go out there on your own. But really be by yourself. Time to step in. How are you? Huh. My name is John Quinones. It's a TV show. <laughs> is it that they don't love him anymore? No. If you're like 30 years old and your parents are trying to get you out of the house to get you to make money and like start up your own life, then that's good parenting. Let's talk to the family. I mean, I couldn't imagine having my children live with me at 30 years old, especially. At, as cute as they are? As adorable as they are, I couldn't imagine. What does living at home do to you, and what does living on your own do for you? I mean, living at home is great if your parents want you there, <laughs> you know? It's funny, because she asked me if, what did you ask me, Ralph? If you're going to kick me out. If I was going to kick her out. If you're 30 years old and living in a house, maybe. How long do you want to stay with your folks? Till you're how old? 18. Wow. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs>